How's it going guys? My name is Lappy. and to this video guys, I'm gonna show you a quick boost of FPS. If you want to boost your FPS quick and you don't want to install a lot of different programs, this is the right video. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's start with this video. If you want to support my channel, the best way that you can do it is using my code Slappy in the Fortnite add-in shop. Remember that I'm doing a giveaway if you use my code and subscribe of two battle passes. If you don't want to use my code in the Fortnite add-in shop, you can support me subscribing. We're close to hit 30k subscribers and also the 99% of you guys are not subscribed. Now let's start with this video. Okay, as you can see, this is my website. If you want to check all the other different posts that I have to boost the FPS, to have the best optimization in Fortnite, to reduce the input delay, I have a lot of different posts on this website. But in today's video, we're gonna check the last post, which is Fortnite Season 3 FPS Boost. Remember that if you want the direct link, you have the link on my Discord. You have the direct link on my Boost Pack section, so you can go straight to the point. But if you are on my website, what you need to do is only click on the first post, then scroll down and click on download. You're probably gonna have a pop-up like this, close it, and then you will get directly to Drive. Remember, usually all the files that I post on my website are from Drive. If the file that you download is not from Drive, that's mean that you download something else. So please make sure that the pack that you're gonna download are from Drive and has the name FPS Boost Pack number 2. Now you need to press on download and wait until you have the pack download. Once you download the files, you will have this boost pack as you can see here. Remember that you need to have WinRed to extract the files. Now you need to get into this folder. As you can see, we have a couple folders. First of all, we're gonna start with the most simple, but the most important at the same time. And I'm talking about the rest of point. It's really important that you create the rest of point before you do any boost of FPS of any YouTuber. On my case, I always recommend, because if you don't like any settings of this boost pack, you can just restore everything back. So double click on rest of point. As you can see, we're gonna have the system properties. What you need to do is select the disk C. Now you need to create a rest of point. Over here, you need to type the name. Could be anything. On my case, will be boost FPS number two. Now click on create. Wait until it create the rest of point. As you can see, it's done. So just close. Now you have the rest of point. And I'm gonna show you right now how you can restore everything back if something happened. So what you need to do is click on system restore. Now you need to wait. You need to choose a different rest of point. Now click on next. As you can see, we have three rest of point. What we're gonna choose is the one that we create, which is the boost FPS number two. Click on next. Now click on finish. And as you can see, it will say once you start, the system restore cannot be interrupted. Click on yes, and now you can continue. On my case, I'm gonna click on no because I don't need to restore nothing back. Okay, first of all, we're gonna start with the power plan. Go to power plan. As you can see, we have the recovery power plan, clean power plan, and the power control. If you don't know, Park Control unlock all the cores that you have, creating a power plant who can boost your FPS. As you can see, what you need to do is only install Park Control. If this power plant doesn't like you, you just can clean the power plant and that's it. Or if you want to use any of this power plant, just click on Recovery Power Plant and you will have all this power plant on your power plant section. On my case, I'm gonna use the Park Control because it's the best. So just install the app. As you can see, once installed, you're gonna have the Park Control. What you need to do is really simple. Just go to this section and select the Bison's highest performance. Apply. Make sure all the parking ACDC and the Freck scaling ACDC is on disable and 100%. Apply and click on OK. The Park Control will be minimized on the secondary programs, which means that it's running. So make sure you have Park Control open anytime that you play any game, so you will have way too better FPS. The next thing is the ISLC. What you need to do is something really easy. Just double click on the app. As you can see, this is the ISLC. What you need to do is only enable the custom timer resolution. Now we need to change these values to 0.50 delete the other ones and that's it remember that if you have start this you are not able to check or uncheck the enable custom timer resolution so you need to stop and then you're able to make any change now the isc polling rate i recommend that you try this out because these some things depend on your PC. On my case, I don't like to touch this because I don't feel comfortable. I just leave it on 1000 because if I use other one, I feel weird my mouse. So I'm gonna leave on 1K. Once you finish with the timer resolution, I don't recommend to touch nothing of this if you don't understand. On my case, I'm not gonna show you how you can do this. I'm just gonna activate the start ISLC minimize it and start the app. 
choose minimize it and it will be minimized to the secondary programs. The next thing that we're gonna do is the game music settings command. Recently I make a video about the game music settings command and right now I'm showing you the best game music settings that you can have if you want more FPS. On this game music settings you have all the quality settings on the lowest possible so you can have better FPS but good quality at the same time. What you need to do is only scroll down and if you have any custom resolution, change the resolution that I'm currently using to the one that you're using on game. On my case, I'm gonna leave it on 1920 by 1080. If you have a less resolution, just change. Now click on save, copy the game resource settings, go to the next location of the game resource setting, which is on the RAM section, type add data. Now click on OK, go to local, Fortnite game, save config and Windows client paste the game resource settings and replace in the destination and the last two things that you need to do is go into the temporary file go to the temporary one and delete all these files because this is only catchy files so that's mean that these files are totally trash so select all of them now you click on delete there are some files that you are not able to delete so just leave it like that now go to temporary 2 and do the same select all of them and delete it and to end up with this video what i'm gonna show you are the argument commands that you can check on the epic game launchers to boost the fps on fortnite if you want to do this just go to your profile go to settings if you have an update update because they are really important once this update your epic game launcher go to the settings again scroll down as you can see we're gonna have the games that you have installed right now you need to click on fortnite you must to activate these two options and you need to paste this code that you will have on the description and also you will have right over here on the video as you can see it's over here you just copy if you want or you can go in the description and copy the same command now that's all that you need to do this is a quick fps video i'm gonna go to creative to check how much fps i have okay guys as you can see we're here and i'm getting 400 fps looking at the blacks well 500 looking at the black section if i look right over here i get around 400 450 maybe if we move we reduce the fps like this as you can see we reduce a couple fps but that doesn't mean that you will not get a lot of fps remember as i told you this maybe doesn't make a really huge impact on my pc but maybe on yours can do because i usually make a lot of boosts of fps and i'm making optimizations on my pc constantly so maybe the fps will boost already but in your case maybe you will have more if you want more fps boost video remember that you can let me know on the comment section also i'm close to make another week of resolution and if you guys want you can leave your resolution and it probably will be on the week of resolution okay i think that's all for this video guys if you like my content please don't forget to use my code slappy in the for now adding shop and also subscribe because we're close to hit 30k subscribers once you know that i hope you guys enjoy and i see you soon later